Hey guys, Rob here. Um, have you ever been in a park that you wanted to fly at, but you can't fly your normal? This is the. These are both uh, Gobi 210s. You can't fly because they're one. They're loud. They're super fast and they scare people. Uh, so you can't fly this at small parks or in your neighborhood because they make they're too scary, right? So then you have the Tiny Whoop. The Tiny Whoop is great indoors, even outdoors you could fly it if the wind is not uh, bad enough. Uh, it flies great, but it does make a little bit of noise. Then you have this. This is a custom made 3D printed frame. These are brushed motors and this is a 1C pack. This whole quad cost me $70 to make. That's way more than the Tiny Whip. The Tiny Whip plus the camera plus the battery, this has the upgraded motors also. It's gonna be way over $100. This all in with one battery, 70 bucks US. Um, it handles the wind pretty well, as you can see in this video. It was a little bit gusty and I need to adjust the, the rates or the, the PIDs. Um, this is running a Siski board and what's great about this is that it's it's a brushed board, but it runs a beta flight, and it has a built-in integrated uh, like a spectrum spectrum receiver. So you bind it to, for example, I have a Tyrannus. I have the orange module, so I bind it to that, and it's an all-in uh, solution. Uh, this VTX on top is not ideal since since I made this. The Tiny Whoop or a lot of people have been using these small cameras and these are ideal. They're super light, they're efficient, they don't waste a lot of power and uh, they're, they're really good. This is a lot cheaper. This, is, this camera is like a $13 camera. This VTX is uh, like $10. That's like $25 bucks. and the antenna, I had it from a really old old antenna one of the first fast track antennas and I cut it off and I just soldered it directly to the VTX to save some weight and but this works really well this is a 200 milliwatt I should probably run 25 milliwatt because it doesn't waste uh, as much power so all up weight with uh, 1s this is a sorry this is a 25c 380 milliamp battery all up weight let's see here is 53 grams now if I switch the the if I would if I switch the FPV setup I think I could shave probably 10 grams off that if I put the, the camera that the tiny whoop has on it so probably save a lot of weight on it well let's see the tiny whoop is 25 grams with the battery so it's a lot lighter so any little gust this thing's gonna go flying so that's it. If you guys want to build one of these quads, uh, the links to all the parts that I use are below. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.